Hello, Bill Winston here, and I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. This is a time of giving thanks. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18, In everything give thanks, for it is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Now, it's concerning you. Praise God. Now, always, he said, remember to give thanks. See, this attitude of gratitude is what God wants. This Bible even says, be anxious for nothing, but in all things by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. Yeah, this thanksgiving is big to God, giving of thanks. So whatever um, in situation you're in or when you're expecting something from God, start giving thanks right away. Start giving thanks right when you go into it. Lord, I just thank you for the healing that's on my I thank you for the miracle in my finances. I, and wake up in the morning giving him thanks. Go to bed at night giving him thanks. I tell you, this helps that thing to supernaturally manifest. Now, I want everyone, anyone that's listening to me and every person to know how thankful I am for you to support me and all of my partners to support the broadcast and to help me send, send me out on the mission field, all that you've done. Thank you so much for it. Your partnership is a blessing to me and I give thanks to God for you. Your prayers and your givings have really helped to take this ministry to the level here that we are operating in the world. I came here with $200 and my family had no place to stay for. Look what God is doing now. Part of that we give you thanks for. I remember uh, one time where I was uh, uh, gone down to Bible school. We had just gotten there. It's in the middle of the year, right after, uh, just about during the time of uh, Christmas. And um, God put on our hearts. We didn't know our way around Tulsa, Oklahoma that well, but I was going to seminary and, and we got enrolled and so forth. God spoke to my wife and I said, hey, why don't you bless somebody with some groceries? Well, I didn't know quite what he was saying. We just followed the Holy Ghost. So what happened was we bought the groceries and put them in the trunk of the car and we start driving. I'm, I'm praying in the spirit and we're driving down the highway, not really knowing much about Tulsa and so forth. But we ended up on the north side of Tulsa where people who didn't have much means. It was where a government housing project. And so I came into the project complex and I saw a lady, I said, hey, you know somebody that needs some groceries? And she began to say something that didn't bear witness with me. I said, oh, thank you very much. Went on down, saw a guy, said the same thing. But it just didn't bear witness. We drove all the way down to the very end of the complex. And I saw a lady coming down from the second floor of an apartment building. I said, excuse me, you know somebody that needs some groceries? She said, oh yeah, you're talking about Miss Love. She's in the second apartment on the second floor. I said, okay, love, love, yeah, that's it. So I went up there, knocked on the door. When I knocked on the door, nobody answered. I knew I heard something before I knocked. I knocked again. Somebody in, inside said, who is it? I said, my name is Bill Winston, I'm a preacher. Lady cracked the door. She said, yes. I said, are you Miss Love? She said, yes. I said, Miss Love, I have a trunk full of groceries for you out here. Ah! And she opened the door and threw her hands up and, and she said, do you see these kids on the couch over here? Old, you know, couch that was torn up. And she said, these are my daughter's kids. She's on drugs. And, and they were just asking me, Grandmama, when can we get something to eat? And I told them, baby, don't y'all worry. God's going to send us something to eat. I said, man. And she said, look in this refrigerator preacher. And I can't remember anything in there except a mason jar with water in it. And they didn't have anything to eat. But notice how God used me. And when I did that, uh, she began to raise her hand and thank God. Notice your giving causes somebody else to give thanksgiving to God. And I'm saying your giving to this ministry is causing me to give thanksgiving to God. We're getting testimonies from all over the world, deliverance, healing, many people getting born again, supernaturally saved, so forth and so on. Notice, if you partner with me, that also is applied to your account. You're going to be standing. The Bible says when we get before Jesus, we're going to be rewarded for the things that we've done in this earth. So I'm saying to you right now, there are 
You send up timber. Pray, that's what the people used to call it when I was a kid. What it means is work on the future. Just, just don't look at the here and now. God's got big plans for you, and, but it's up to you to operate now so that those big plans can be given to you as a reward when you get done with this earthly work. But I'm telling you, that same lady, God spoke to me about a month later and said, why don't you take the gospel out there? Take a Bible study out there once a week. And I didn't know how I was going to get the people to come. I told Miss Love, <laughs> she filled that place up, witness of everybody and told them all that God has done for her. I'm saying, your partnering with me causes me to go and bless people and they can give thanksgiving to God. See, it's not much we could give him, but we can give him thanks. And I'm telling you, that God kind of thanks him when we, you partner with me and that anointing comes on you and you get blessed like that. That's what it's all about. Because once you give into this ministry, you are a partaker of my grace. And then as you reach out to people, you bless them, all that goes to your account. It's a powerful principle. It's called partnership. If you'd like to partner with me, ask the Lord about it and see what the Lord would say. If he says yes, call us or go online. We have a partnership corner today. You could go online and find what it takes to be a partner or sign up to be a partner with us. We'd love to have you to be a part of what God is doing. It's a blessed work. So on behalf of myself, my wife, Veronica, and all the people of Bill Winston Ministries, those who have really, really been a part of helping this ministry spread throughout the world, we give thanks to God. And also, we thank you. So here's Bill Winston saying to you, Happy Thanksgiving. We love you, to you and your family, and keep walking by faith.